Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure Grafana on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The installation process is same for all Red Hat Enterprise Linux versions. Open Firefox, go to grafana.com. This is the official website for Grafana. Click on products, then click on Grafana. Then click on get Grafana. Here select self managed. Then click on this download. See here, the latest version is 10.1.1. This is the release date. So here we have Grafana for Linux. Windows, Mac, Docker. So click on Linux. See the first these commands are for Ubuntu. But for Red Hat or CentOS or Fedora, you have to copy this link. That is the link which is going to directly install from Grafana. So copy this link and go to command prompt. Paste that one. Hit enter. Provide the password of sudo user. Downloading Grafana Enterprise Linux 10.1.1. Okay. This may take time based on your internet speed. See here, we have successfully installed Grafana. Also here, see here the message. See, not starting on the installation. Please execute the following statements to configure Grafana to start automatically using system D. So, the first one is to load the daemon and second one is the enable Grafana service. Why we need to enable Grafana service? Because whenever, whenever Linux server restarts, Grafana service will automatically restarts. And next command is to start Grafana service. We have to run this command. Okay. See, this is the Grafana version installed. Control L to clear screen. Now verify whether Grafana is started or not. sudo systemctl status grafana hyphen server see grafana service is not started and it is disabled so first we are going to enable this grafana service to start automatically after linux server restarts okay sudo systemctl start enable enable grafana hyphen server see it has created symlink for grafana service now verify whether it is enabled or not by running the same command sudo systemctl status grafana see now it has been changed to enable but still it is stopped or inactive so start by running the command sudo systemctl start grafana hyphen server hit enter it is started so sudo systemctl status grafana server see it is enabled and it is active and running so we have started the grafana service now connect to grafana q2 kit go to browser then give the localhost 
पोर्ट नंबर इज थ्री ट्रिपल जीरो provide the username and password the default username and password is admin password also same it is lower case and click on login don't save now it is asking us to update the password for the user admin so set the password or you can click on the skip and later we can update i will show you how to update once we login but here i am updating click on submit don't save Good. see this is the grafana console to change the password you have to click on this username and click on change password here we have to provide the current password and new password okay now click on the grafana see in the menu we have home shared dashboards at present i don't have any dashboard if you want to create dashboard you have to click on create dashboard then click on new then select new dashboard suppose if you want to add a data source connection click on the menu then click on con connections then search for suppose for postgresql search for postgresql see we have the data source click on it then click on add new data source see by default it has selected name as process equal you can change it see if you don't provide the name it takes as localhost 5432 if you have different name you have to provide here database name I have Postgres. Provide the existing database name. Provide the username and password of that user. See, I have the Postgres on this local machine. Then I am giving the credentials. If you have the MySQL, if you have MySQL, you have to provide local host and double three six zero. Then username and password details. If you provide all the details, you have to click on Save and Test. See validation error invalid URL. So we have to give the local host and five four three two. That is the default for port for PostgreSQL. Now click on save and test. Now it is saying SSL is not enabled. So I have disabled. SSL and now click on save and test. See, connection is okay. So, like this, we have to add the data sources. So, for suppose if you want to add MySQL, click on add new connection. Then search for MySQL. Click on MySQL. Click on add data connection. See here, port is double three zero six. It is not double three six zero. So you have to provide all this information and click on save test. See, we have connected to Grafana using localhost. We can also connect using IP. R one two seven zero zero dot one. This is the loopback IP. See, it is asking the same. Username is admin and the password that we have updated. See, I am successfully connected. Also, we can connect by by using IP address. Go to terminal and verify. If config is the command to check the IP of Linux machine. See, this is the IP. Copy it. Then click on user sign out. Paste the IP. Give the colon. Port is three colon three triple zero. See, all three are same. So I am giving admin is the username and admin 
password. See, we have successfully connected. Now go to terminal, control L to clear screen, verify the status of Grafana. It is, it is started. Now stop it. Now go to Grafana, sign out, we will get the error. See, unable to connect. Even if we give IP or local host and port number, you will get the same error. Unable to connect to the Grafana. So, reason is Grafana is stopped. Let's start again. Pseudo system CTL start. Grafana server. Now check the status again. It is started. Now reload this page. See, we are, we are able to connect to Grafana. So in this video, we have seen how to install and configure Grafana on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. For more videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.